Hello, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to a brand new video and this week on the old magic roundabout we've got a dinky toys Ford Corsair as you can see in the silver with a black vinyl roof diamond headlights, fancy wheels and an opening bonnet and a slide down front windows as you check this out going round I'd just like to welcome all the friends of the channel back to this video and welcome any new friends good to have you on board there we go this is what we got so let's get it off the magic get it on the bench and have a damn good look at it see what we're dealing with okay here we go then. let's have a closer look at this the light's going to bounce off this because it's silver. It's supposed to be silver metallic with a black well, on a roof. It looks like it's got a texture already on it. So we'll see what we can replicate that. It's got the jeweled headlights at the front. Nice old car, this Corsair. I had one of these, but not in the silver. It was in a red. I think Dinky Toys do a red one as well, but it hasn't got the opening bonnet, I don't think. And the slide down windows, which this one has. Put your finger in there. And you can see the slide down windows. There's a little impression in there. Get a bit closer. You can lift them up. Lift them down. I'm surprised this, this one ain't broken. Yeah, it's uh, got play worn paint miss off the roof. Paint's all chipped around here. All around the boot. The doors, it's got measles around the doors and front wing. Same with this side. The base is in good condition. Now, as that there, if people want to know what that is, that's so you can tow a vehicle, or probably the caravan. That's what that's all about on there. Um, this is the button. It says here, press button to open bonnet. So you can press that, and it opens the bonnet. And get your finger in. <laughs> it's supposed to be how you get your finger in. It's a bit... I think it's got a bit slack, but when you get new paint on it, it'll stiffen up. Oh, come on. Get it just right. Okay, there you go. Got some engine detail in there. We can do something with that. The glass is good all around. No brakes in it. It'd be interesting to see how this works. And it's got these wheels on it. The other dinky Corsair hasn't got these wheels on it. It's got standard ones. It's a steerable front end, as you can see. So, we've got two rivets. What need filing flat, set of punching, and drilling out. So that's what we've got here. You can see it's got the smooth nipples on them. It's number 169. Okay. Ford 2000E Corsair. The 2000E. Yeah. Nice car. Nice to drive one of these. Yeah, my red one was nice. It wasn't the 2000E though, but it was nice. Regardless. Right. Let's get the tools out. Get the base off. Okay then. Right. See what we've got under this base then. I've just took the pressure off it, so it should be okay to come off. Take this bit off first. Should be straightforward, yep. Quite the modern suspension on there. That's okay. Can't get the wheels and that for that until you take the, the ends off, but I don't know. I don't know if you'd be able to get them out of there. Can't see any anything on those. Can't see if they're knocked on or not. Anyway, I'll look at them in a minute. That's that bit. Careful you don't lose the pin. We don't want to be losing the pin, do we? In there. Let's just have a look. The interior. Standard back form. It is a bit thicker than some of the corgi ones. It's in good condition. Got the steering wheel, so that's okay. 
Let's get a little tubby. Rub a dub dub. Chuck stuff in. What's that in? Right, windows. Hopefully you can see that. That's the window. That's a slider. And there, let's have a look, see. So these are the two pieces. They're in there. Put one in there. When you put it back together again, there is a groove there, recess. That you can slide that into, like so. Fits like that. And in turn fits the runners there. Okay. So that's your window unit. both in there now the bonnet standard mechanism there just to pull it out so that's your bonnet out and there's your pin which I'd forgotten about I looked at it I thought what's that on there it's the pin so we mustn't lose that well if you did you could make something else but you don't really want to lose it if you can help it that's that so we've got two holes to drill out. The engine is cast in there. So that's it. That's it. You've got a good bit of post you can use for that. If you're not sure, cut a rivet down. You've got a good size post at the back. Okay, so that's okay. Kev okay, not scratch the glass. Let's get the tyres off here. They're in good condition, the tyres. These are the hollow tyres. If you can see that. I don't know if you can or not, but these are the hollow tyres. You can buy these off eBay. You might have to do a bit of searching. Same type of wheel used for the uh, Zephyr car. You can always tell it's got hollow tyres because of the shape of the wheel okay now I'm not going to take these hubs off here because they seem to be on there pretty good and I can't see they were, I would say they're probably pressed on but I can't even see oh yeah just about just about see the if you look closely you might see just see the edge of the spline. If you go right up against that hub, you can just see the edge of the spline. So they will be pull-off wheels. But knocking these back down again, afterwards you could damage this hub. So I think what I'm going to do with this one, because the base is in pretty good condition, I might just touch that up with a bit of black there. Where the drill scuffed it. Polish up the wheels. Because it's in pretty good nick bit of black on there. I don't know. We'll see when we come to it. I'm reluctant to take these out of here because they're on there really tight. But if you wanted to, take them out, make things easy for yourself. Warm up the hub. Heat it up with either a flame of some sort, some heat, and then you should be able to pull them off. It'll expand the hub and pull it off. You can do that if you want. But because this base is in good condition, <coughs> I'm not going to do that. If the base is rusty, dirty and manky, then I probably would have done, but I'm not going to. And these wheels just want cleaning up. They'll be good to go. So that's it. Caustic soda time. Okay then, all cleaned up. The headlights, these are in buckets. They'd like buckets, these, and I was struggling to get them out. So what I did was I put it in a caustic soda, 
and I kept this end out of the soda until it had uh, lost a lot of its power. Then I dropped it straight in and it was fine. Because um, trying to get these out in the buckets was uh, proving to be very difficult. I didn't want to damage any of the lip around there because it's like a very delicate lip around that area. So like I said, I put it with the this bit sticking out, got the rest of the paint off it, and then as the chemical died down and it uh, wasn't so ferocious, and I submerged all of it and cleaned it up. So there you go. There is a texture on the roof already made at the factory, which is cool. I did notice that the battery is on the wrong side. This battery should be this side. But because I've got the hole there for the pin to lift the bonnet up, I assume they still the battery that side. That's why that is. Yeah, 2000 E V4 two door. A lot of these on Wicked, a lot of these aren't you'll see on um, Google Images a four door. Some have got overriders on the bumpers front and back, and some haven't. Whether that was an option or an extra, I don't know. But there you go. I was just checking it out to see what uh, what they looked like. I mean, I do remember what mine looked like, but obviously, refresh your memory on these uh, restored ones. They had different sorts of grills as well on the front. So there we go. Polished the. I haven't polished the wheels. I just wire brushed them. Okay. So that's very easy. I just want uh, just want some metal polish on and the polish up, and the bonnet's all cleaned up. So it's primer time. <coughs> okay, all painted, lacquered. I might put a satin varnish on this roof because the roof was already um, in the casting. That that. Uh, impression to make it look like a vinyl roof that was in the casting so i've done the best i can with the masking to try and get the silver door frame around there i might have to touch up a few little bits and bobs it's not too bad uh pretty good pretty good so now we're on to some details now i can't i'm not using my silver paint that i normally use for this because it's a silver body so i'm going to use some Molotone on it So you can actually see it All right now I've scraped The coax line down there Front to back. I don't know if you can see that I scraped it might not show it. Yeah, I've scraped that side both sides Down there. I sand it the best I could to get the pits out But you don't want to sand too much because you'll lose the shape and it'll go into the Casting so you'll be careful with that. You've got to get the happy medium Okay, right Here's my Molotov I'm not a great lover of these but We're gonna give it a go. I'm gonna dab some on here and use the brush I think it's a little bit easier It's gonna want a while to dry so I have to be careful with this when I can't handle it once I've done it because as you all know these chrome pens do take time to dry. So, hello, things have fallen off the shelf. So, let's go then. It's very hot here today. I think it's about 26, 27. I'm not too bad because I'm in my shed, and it's like I said in previous videos, it, it sheltered. By a big massive tree. I'm sure Robin Hood would like it. So these peculiar shaped bumpers on here. Where they curve up. So painting that is drying up fairly quickly today. Trouble is the dogs are struggling to find shade. But they're in here with me where it's a bit cooler. So hopefully nobody comes 
to the back gate because they'll set the buggers off barking. Yeah, this back bumper curls up over here, look. So, need a bit more chromey chromey. It's drying up quite quickly, isn't it, this? Yeah, it's not going to show up massively on here because it's a, a metallic silver and chrome. But we'll do the best we can for you. Yeah. It's, uh, it's soon drying up on here. I'm going to do the tail lights. Give it more bling here. Yeah, I tell you. She's drying up. I'll get myself one of them refill containers rather than buying a pen. I can use it as I want then. Well, that's them, that's them. So have a look at the back again. Yeah. Do it a bit on the rear. Under there. Well, let's do a bit of the front here. So I haven't muted the sound. I'm just concentrating. Concentrating. There you go. Right, I'm going to finish this off then. Okay, I've got the grill to do. And one or two smaller bits elsewhere. Yeah, you can just about see the contrast. It's not great. But there you go. It is what it is. Okay, that's all the details done now. Best I can. Like I say, chrome strip down there. Indicators, number plate, dual red lights. Tail lights, number plate. The casting of these tail lights was pretty poor, really. They weren't very good. I didn't think they were anyway. So there you got it. There you have it. So now, I'll put the bonnet, just set it in there, because what I was doing was um, trial fitting it all. Just a bit of colour in the engine bay, nothing special. Okay. So now we're going to get the mat out and get it assembled. Okay, here we go. Assembly time. Rightio. 
we'll get the body first and we'll stick in the uh, in the bonnet drop that in there that's fairly straightforward and the uh, pin to lift up the bonnet that's equal distance both sides equal thickness so that can go in just in the hole there there you go we'll put the glass in oops and you've got your front windows there so it's fairly self-explanatory no glue needed now your side windows you need to make sure that the the little indentation is on the outside and you should be able to slide these in between and just slide them down make sure we get that right all right yeah just carefully Slide them down. Sorry if you couldn't see that bit. Okay. Then your interior. And then your base plate. Which you've got to get over your pin first. Okay. So that's in, all right. We'll just check, make sure it all works before we button it up. Windows, I'll use a cocktail stick, it's easier. Windows operate, one side. Ah, you see. Yeah, that's it, yeah. I've got that one inside upside down. So we just take that off. Take that out. See it's quite easy to get this to get this wrong if you're not careful. Because it's not a very big indentation. There you go, that's the right way. Slide that back down. Put that back in. Over your pin. It's always best to double check everything. Okay, there's your pin hanging down. So you should be able to push that up and the bonnet will come off a bit. Okay. Right, let's get some super duper in here then. Super duper. I'm trying to find ya. Some crap on there. Me really trying to be cocky, but thinking I know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh no, get out. Should have done it right in the first place. Instead of trying to be silly. Like you do. There 
There you go. Sorted. We're all done. There's your window operation. Well, that one down is out there. This one working. Now that one up. Bonnet works. There you go. And she's a roller. Steering. Right, it's all good to go. Right, let's get it on the magic and see what it looks like. This is what we started with. Dinky Choice. Ford Corsair in the silver with a black vinyl roof. So, as you can see, it's a bit plain warm. Let's have a look now. So, see how it all came out. Have a look at this. Here we go then. All done and dusted. All done, metallic silver, vinyl roof, dual red lights, number plate, rev. This belonged to the local vicar. One careful owner, as they say. Yep, this is pretty much like the uh, original. Done. I've done the coach line down the side, scraped it, and I used a monotol pen to highlight it as just my ordinary paint that I use for bumpers and stuff wouldn't show up very well on this silver. There you go. So you, you've seen the windows operating. They all work and you've seen the bonnet working. So it's all good to go. Polish the wheels up. These have got the uh, hollowed, out, hollowed out inside tyres on these. Not your standard O-ring type. So there you go. Well, I'm going to do a couple of outside shots in a minute. It's not bright sunlight, it's uh, getting on in the evening now. So I'm going to do a couple of outside shots. Well, I hope, hope you like this one. And next week after this video is the uh, donations and purchases. So tune in for that one. Okay then. We'll see you on the outside shots. Bye for now and thanks for watching.